Well, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this live where I'm soon going to be joined by the very talented man who uh, caught my eye a few weeks back, Fred Bellier. Uh, he's taking online presenting to a whole other level using his drawings and Ecamm Live, and I couldn't wait to introduce him to you. So please let me welcome Fred. Hey, Fred, great to have you here. Hi, Adrian. We're, we're, we're getting to know each other now, aren't we? We've, we've, um, Fred and I are in uh, a couple of groups together, and I've, uh, which is where I first spotted you, Fred. And uh, I saw the talent, and I saw what Fred was up to, and I said, we've got to get you on in front of these people. Um, but Fred, let's assume that nobody knows who you are, and uh, shall I pass the mic over? Would you like to just introduce yourself and let people know a little bit more about you? Yes, of course. Um, my name is Fred Bellier. I'm from France and I'm a graphic facilitator for 10 years. So uh, I help people to clarify their ideas with my little drawings, uh, live drawings or uh, explanatory drawings that I uh, could uh, draw uh, uh, on demand. Yep. Fantastic. And uh, so so two very distinct areas there. And I, and I know I, when I was first talking to you about this, um, uh, really just trying to understand that. So you're talking about these like pre-made drawings then and then the live ones. It was the live ones that first caught my eye. And I think you kind of warned me off that a bit and said, that's quite advanced. Let, let's start with the other part first. Um, so I think b before we jump in, and I, I'm, I'm itching to kind of see this and to let people see what we're up to, but I think it'd be really good just to jump over to the chat here. We've got a, a few guys that are on already. Uh, hey, Mike, well done getting on nice and early. And Paul, thank you, Paul. Uh, Dina, uh, Brian, Elizabeth. And uh, guys, if there's... Uh, uh, we had a bit of a technical just as I'm hitting go live on here. Uh, I got a message pop up to say that there's an error with Facebook, so we didn't. We're not going live to Facebook. Um, and Owen, anybody over on LinkedIn? Yeah, if uh, if you're if you're over on LinkedIn, uh, Owen's going to bring any. Please ask the questions over there on LinkedIn as well. Uh, Owen's going to bring those questions in so they come into the chat over here. Um, but uh, you're all very welcome. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, so, Fred, I'm gonna let's come back to. Do you, do you want to show us what it is that you're meaning then, and, and just let's have a little taste of what it is you do? Yes, I um, I have prepared some some drawings to to show you, and um, my point yeah, <laughs> my point is to to show my drawings, of course, but uh, uh, I would like to to show how ecam with drawings. It's a powerful uh, way of. Uh, managing uh, online meetings. So um, for me, um, the drawings could be very useful as uh, uh, branding your um, yeah. meeting. For example, yeah. like the background I have yes. uh, here. So this so is all your work, is it? That's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I used, I used the, the, the green screen with my one of my drawings and it could, it, uh, it seems to be a detail, but I think it's not because uh, when I uh, pop up in um, uh, online meetings with my prospects, it's uh, very powerful because people are very used to uh, to see uh, um, book books yes. books or uh, I don't yeah. know what. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this is. Um, 
this is not a detail. It, it's a, a part of my universe, a graphic universe, of par, a part of my uh, personal branding. So yes. Is it and and you you were you were attracted uh, at our first uh, meeting by this background. So that's right. So for me, it could be uh, okay. Uh, branding your uh, your background. It's uh, it's could be a yeah. um, some, something. Be details of a specific meeting, even as well, exactly. couldn't it? That could that could be sitting oh. there um, that changes. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, second thing to brand your uh, online meeting, uh, it could be uh, your uh, your name. So for example, uh, create <laughs> a, a small avatar to explain what what you are doing. So, my so with this avatar, I can explain that I draw to help people to clarify their ideas. So it's another way. It's a funny way, but serious at the same time to 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 present me. Yeah. Um, we can use a uh, mock-up. Uh, <laughs> so, for example, uh, I create this uh, flip chart, a flip chart, uh, because people were uh, at the, when when I when I started to 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 make the on, uh, online training training sessions, people were very sad because of the COVID crisis. Mm. They, they they were sad not not to 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 be able to make. Uh, face-to-face -face, uh, meeting so i create this flip chart and i can um, integrate drawings for example i can explain that i make drawings to clarify the, the ideas so it's another ways uh, to make a, a presentation i can yeah. uh, use overlays with my drawings and with sound as you as well yeah and that, so uh, you know we you've got it there as a static image that could be actually bringing in from your right your ipad couldn't it and you can actually live be drawing on that whiteboard there yeah exactly um, it's yeah yeah of course and it's uh so, I, I, yeah, I made uh, templates uh like this because when i, I that one <laughs> mini fred <laughs> Because when I shared my uh, screen at the beginning, I was not very um, convinced with the, 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 the software. It was not super uh, beautiful. So I made this, uh, this template so I can share my uh, softwares with a much more uh, aesthetic. Um... So for example, this is a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so just a second. So, so what you've got there, so that the, the background and everything is yours, and in that white area there is is pulling in from PowerPoint. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there is excellent two overlays. Uh, there is no three overlays. Uh, the the template in the background. No, uh, at the very uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> there is you've a got that background. Screen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. That's we, we can come back to that. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, not the subject. it's me putting you off. Yeah. Um, we, we, people are loving this anyway. <laughs> um, so how are you using this then, Fred? Yeah, um, yeah. I use it. Um, so I, I, I spoke about uh, branding, but uh, the, the core of my, uh, my uh, presentation today is visual presentation. So um, um, I use different types of uh, prepared drawings. It could be uh, a drawing in one piece. For example, I use a lot my logo because it's yeah. very uh, funny and uh, I can use it um, combined with uh, live drawings. For example, uh, rather than uh, explaining what I'm doing, I prefer to show my logo and ask people, what do you, what, what do you see on these pictures? And I, I bring uh, all, uh, I take all the, the answer and I draw directly on PowerPoint with this simple tool. Uh, it's uh, just uh, this stylus annotation tool and I can draw directly on my pictures. Okay. And this, this is very powerful. This is very simple, but this very powerful because the drawing is not finished. People can add questions yeah. and I can, uh, okay, I can add uh, a lot of things. It's not very professional, but it's yep. very, um, I don't know. 
<laughs> but it's, it, it is, I can imagine um, you having a, you know, like others do PowerPoint presentations and then you fill in the words type, you know, they might stand at a flip chart and fill in the words and things. And it's, I, I guess it's a bit like that, or you could almost do it with the yeah. drawings of, uh, maybe it's an empty face and you change the expressions and things like that as you go. Or uh, So yeah, I like exactly. the uh, see how you're, you're, you're mixing the two really of having it partly done. Um, yeah, yeah, I will show you that there is a lot of combination. You can have the one piece drawing. You can have uh, an animated drawing. I like it uh, a lot because this is for me the most powerful, uh, powerful um, in, in PowerPoint. You can split a uh, drawing in different parts and you can animate it. For example, when I uh, explain okay. visual, for example, I will take uh, step by step my drawings to, to explain the different part of my idea. For example, uh, there is someone, someone have something in mind. It seems to be very confused. So the first step, <laughs> he will think of one idea and he will grab a pen and paper and he will draw this first idea on paper. And mm -hmm. at this moment, he will show uh, because this abstract idea will come uh, material and he will have uh, another, uh, he will have an idea because he, the, the idea is not no more in his mind, but it, it, it is on a paper so mm -hmm. he can see the idea and can have another idea and he will draw something else and it will be a uh, virtual uh, vir uh, virtu uh, sorry yeah <laughs> it, um, repeating it do you mean it? yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I love that I think that's a great way to do it so you're starting out with the completed drawing and then or, or you must know in advance where you're going with it and then you're bringing this up in in, in sections um, Fantastic. Uh, people are saying um, making education fun. Yeah, <laughs> um, we like this. It's really good. OK. Yeah. yeah. And it's 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 always possible to to add some things to, to the drawing. So it's it's the difference. Uh, I am a trainer, but I have not all, all the all the knowledge. So if, if someone asks me, for example, but if there is two person in the room, and another person want to to draw how it works. So I can um, I can be very fluid. I can take all the questions and I can draw. So it's it's a mix between a flip chart and PowerPoint. Yeah. And it's no more static. It's no more uh, theoretical. It's it's very uh, lively. And, and so you're you, yeah. I want to just pick up on that. Really. So you're saying this is what you do that you actually could. So if if I were doing a presentation, you could sit alongside me and you'd be drawing this as we go then or building it out. Is that what, that's what you've been doing for, yeah. for clients? Yeah. Yeah. For clients, it's, yeah. it's uh, clients come to me and they are asking for drawings, but in fact, uh, I will, <laughs> I will, I will say to, to them that it's not, it's not just drawing, it's storytelling. So yes. I must, work with them to to say okay what do you want to say to what are your target who is your target and i, I will help them to to schedule things yeah. to plan things and to write the the story so uh, drawings it's just the visible um the the, the visible uh, goal but yeah there is a lot of things before absolutely uh, and i totally get that uh, and I think it's easy for us to look at this and go, oh, yeah, you just doing drawings. But it, it isn't, is it? It's the whole step before that of how do I communicate what I'm saying visually? Um, exactly. That, that's, I guess, a, the real art of it. Um, yeah, fantastic. OK. But, but, yeah. Uh, do, do you have a question? No. no um, <laughs> had you got any more scenes on this one or is that? Um, oh yeah, I have a lot of scenes. So if you have a question, you're welcome. I, I, I didn't. I didn't want to butt in if you were. Yep, <laughs> I, okay. I've got plenty of questions. <laughs> Super. Um, yeah, I, I I would like to show another scene which is very important for me, and it was the reason why at the beginning I I, I would like to use Ecam, because uh, first I, I was just a designer who who worked with clients. So yeah. 
a, a simple screen share uh, was uh, efficient. But when I become uh, when I became a trainer, I, I need to 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 get more interaction in my uh, in my uh, remote trainings. Mm-hmm. And my first goal was to switch between digital drawings and physical drawings. So I have another okay. scene. And this scene is just my desk with my uh, sketchbook, with my markers. Yeah. And this is exactly the same things uh, that uh, digital drawings. Uh, I could have my uh, prepared drawings. I can add some information, but at this time I can, I can use, for example, sticky notes. Yeah. So uh, it's yeah. it's very it's very funny with my trainees because uh, switching from digital, which is very uh, um, clean, very uh, yeah. precise, to physical, which is a bit uh, okay, more um, I don't know. Um, I, I like this actually. I, I'd be interested to hear what people think actually. Um, in the, let us know in the comments. Do, do you like the digital yeah, yeah. or do you like the the real, <laughs> the yeah. overhead? So, so this was what you fa- did. You find this before you worked out, EK, you know, using your iPad and things. Had you been well, doing it this way before you started? Um, th- the problem for me was uh, my training was to train people to be able to draw in physical meetings. Okay. But uh, because of the crisis, right. yeah, I had to train them online. So I had to find a way to to switch uh, on the physical uh, between physical drawing and yeah. uh, um, digital drawings because the goal of my uh, trainees was to be able to draw uh, on physical drawing. So right. I find this, I find this solution and I, I was very surprised because people said, uh, uh, oh yeah, I was fed up with uh, online meetings, but uh, yeah. your uh, three hours uh, um, online training, uh, it was very uh, uh, yeah. short. So I think it's, for me, it's very powerful to to able to switch in one second between uh, digital and um, yeah. and physical. It's uh, for me the most powerful. So, yeah. for example, at this moment, uh, it's it's no more PowerPoint. It's uh, my software drawing, which is Sketchbook Pro. Yeah, and with sketchbook i can um, i can make very more professional drawings yes because it's a, it's a special software so i can draw everything on my uh, it's it's like my uh, digital flip chart and i can explain something or i can take the questions of my trainees i yeah. can draw the question of my trainees and i can answer directly on the screen so it's Wow. <laughs> I like it. So e must have been a real game changer for you. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I couldn't imagine trying to do this. I guess you would be trying to share your screen or, or I think you could bring, I think we've looked at this before. You, you could actually bring a, your iPad in as another guest into an ECAM, into a Zoom call, but nothing like this to be able to quickly flick between. Um, and, and this is what excites me, Fred. I think, you know, we, and I think most of the guys that are on, uh, that are watching here are used to ECAM. And uh, I think it's really interesting to, <laughs> is this me? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not at all. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's just really interesting exciting to to see actually what's um, how you're using ecam as another use case and uh, it's fantastic um and uh, we're gonna tell you what very quickly let me just jump across because there's a lot of things coming up in the chat before we carry on with this um uh, i'm loving this i was just saying there about you know which do people prefer um uh, like both setups depending on the audience now they can see how to storyboard an idea yeah that's a really great idea that could be a really good use for this couldn't it to um walk people through a storyboard actually and have those boxes there ready to go and you just storyboarding out a video with yeah. them i love that um uh, Kerwin, i hadn't even considered that that's 
Yeah, we need. To, we will look into this one more, Fred. Definitely very creative with the digital and camera presentation. Yep, um, digital a real good mix. Yep. Um, yeah, it's a cleaner look. Yeah, there's something, um, Cohen, I like the overhead that just feels a bit more real when we see Fred's hand in there. And uh, But yeah, I agree, a mix. Um, Anna, Zahn, brilliant. Yeah, loving this. Uh, you guys could have great fun with this, couldn't you? With sort of drawing some little icons out first and bringing them in. Um, excellent, loving it. Yeah, there you go. Look, this guy's taking Ecamm to another level. That's what we said. And um, <laughs> very impressed with what you're doing. Um, sorry, just what was that last Dean just put there? Can we see a camera shot of the live drawing on the PowerPoint slide? Um, how are you? That's getting a bit. So uh, Dean's suggesting, could you see that drawing? Uh, I'm not quite sure where you're meaning with that, Dean. What I was thinking earlier is you could almost, where you've got your post-it or you've got your blank boxes on there, you could with green screen, almost draw over and, and mix both of them on there but we're getting a bit we're getting a bit trippy on that we'll <laughs> we'll hold on um so paul says there now i just need to learn to draw <laughs> um excellent fred it's, that's yeah. that that's something i would like to just ask uh you know we 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 did say to people in advance of this that um uh, and, and I'm happy to come to this if there's anything else you wanted to just demonstrate before that, but be very interested just to hear how hard is this for someone to get started with someone like me that's totally useless at drawing and by the sounds of it, Paul, um, is this something we just look at and go, oh, I wish I could do that? Uh, or, or have you got some good news for us? Yeah, <laughs> I, have, I, I have some good news. It was one of her, uh, one of her, of, of the first test I made with my trainees is to uh, to be sure that they, they, they can draw because some of them are uh, very uh, um, used to draw and some think uh, thought they, they, they were not uh, able. So uh, I I, um, I have a little test and if you want Adrian to to do it with me uh, on people uh, uh, too. Uh, this is um, you. You can grab a pen or paper or your stylus or your iPad or everything you I'm, want. I'm currently using my iPad as okay. a. Uh, I, okay. That's all right. I think we can do it. Hopefully, it's not going to cause too much problem. Um, we could have so a go. At I, this. Will, I will teach you the, the in thirty minutes or five minutes. And, they, uh, and, then, and then you can see how good or bad mine came out. <laughs> <laughs> So let's make the test. Yep, go so, on then. Um, to, to, to be able to, to draw, uh, we must first uh, uh, be sure what we are uh, talking about because um, this is not art. Because a lot of people think are thinking that uh, you must be uh, uh, you must be uh, you must uh, be able to make beautiful drawings, but the 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 goal is not uh, art; it's communication. So, um, if you are able to draw simple drawings to communicate your ideas, uh, it's it's. It's the most important. So the, the your drawings, uh, um, it's not it's uh, your, your drawings. Uh, it's not a question yeah. of beauty. It's a question of yeah. clarity. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, it's the reason why we are we will work with a simple uh, shapes. Um, so we're not spending we, a lot of time exactly filling because, in all the details yes. and getting it realistic exactly. there is a question of time because when when you think of something like the the character i show you uh, mm -hmm. um, th there is a question of time because you have a, 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 an idea yeah and you must to draw this idea on paper uh, so it you you don't have uh, 30 minutes to draw one idea it must be very very quick yes because 
after you will have an over idea so it must be very very quick so it's the reason why we will use very simple shapes to be able to draw very quickly uh, one idea of one idea at yeah after one of oh, so, sorry for my so <laughs> so like drawing a drawing a person or a yeah you make it look very easy and i guess that's the tr you know that's the th it's like any it's like playing an instrument i guess isn't it it's it's knowing what to do and then practicing okay so let's practice so the basic shapes are circle square triangle and we can use a kind of blob things and we can a line on a point. So if, <laughs> if you are able to draw these simple shapes, it means that you are able to draw. So for you, it's a... Uh... Do, do, do you want to see, Fred? Yes, of course. Uh, it's a test. Th 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 this is... <laughs> <laughs> so maybe a bit more practice on my yeah, yeah, yeah. circles to get them nice and... But you, you are not obliged to, to, to be very quick. At, at, at the beginning yeah yeah you can take your time <laughs> and it it it's it's not obliged to it's not necessary to be perfect yes you know, my angle is not perfect but i i so uh, genuinely though i think you could just sit couldn't you do and this is what we used to do at school when we learned to write and we had letters and we just kept doing the same letter over and over until we got it um if we were serious about this so how, for example, that, you know, the face that you're drawing, can you just break down for me what, obviously we're starting with a circle there. Um, yeah, of course, uh, it's starting with a circle and you just add two points and a line yeah. and you have, you have a face. And um, Excellent. It's, not, it's just not a question of uh, be fast or not. It's uh, if you use simple drawings, it's yeah. better for people to identify. If if I make something more precise with as with, uh, yeah. Uh, and I becomes... guess if you've if you've got time and maybe while somebody's talking, if you were doing this, it gives you the chance to you can keep filling it in a little bit while they're talking if they haven't moved on to the next point. But if but. It, it's not it's not necessary you can uh, have very simple for example if i explain something very simple and i have for example uh um, or another example i have to to represent an audience it yeah. could be more simple because it's just a lot of people together or crowd for example yeah it it, it depends a crowd yeah or uh, a special woman with special airs and special face. So <laughs> you, yeah, it's it's the same, but it could be complex or very simple. Yeah. And I can show you a lot of things. What do, what do you want to know? Love that. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just looking, can I just ask, so, so Dean's just asking, and Dean, we're not going to be able to do this now, but Dean's just asking, he wants to, he'd love to see a camera shot of what you're doing on the iPad. Um, uh, what Fred and I, uh, and I'll mention this towards the end, Fred's, uh, we're going to be doing our next Ecamm Live Academy in October. Uh, it's come mm -hmm. around uh, quicker than I realized, but um, we're getting ready for our next Ecamm Live Academy. And when I met Fred, I said to him, please come in and do a masterclass inside the Academy with us. And this is what we're thinking is uh, today, I just really wanted Fred to come along here and show us wet our appetites really that this is something that we could do and uh, this is a different way at coming at our presentations uh at fred's going to be showing us more of a behind the scenes inside the academy and actually how he's using ecamm to do this um so that dean i think that's going to be the the option where we do that uh, it, i don't think fred's got set up on here to be able to show um the ipad and things um I, I, I take it you haven't, Fred. You're in a different place to where you got the um, the pad and things. But we'll come back to the behind the scenes, really. And I think we have a look at that um, inside the academy. 
Um, like to see the camera shot as well. Um, <laughs> people, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what they're meaning really because I, you're just sitting with the iPad in front of you, aren't you? That is connected in through here. And uh, with an eCam, we're able just, I don't know whether you're on USB or wireless. Um, is, that on a, is that on a cable that you're connected in to your iPad? Um, in fact, it's not, a, today it's not an iPad, it's a Wacom tablet. Okay, yep. But I can do it with the iPad, but uh, I, I, yep. I'm working every day on my Wacom tablet, so I'm very confident Fair enough. with Waya. With, with, yeah. But totally. uh, for so the just... masterclass, master I will uh, give all the technical information because it's, it's a lot of uh, cable connection, et cetera, et cetera, and it's... Yep. Uh, difficult to to explain it in, in yeah um, but seconds. that's i mean we could do you know that's that's all i'm doing here my ipad is sitting at the side of me and i'm using a apple pencil and i'm using uh, you know so so that's i don't think we need a camera view to see that that that's what's happening over here is is potentially you guys could do this with an ipad just at the side of you and you're writing away um and then what fred has done is and there are different ways of doing this and again this is where i'll be keen to uh, um unpack this a little bit as well from the ecam side as to how we do this potentially fred could have done this and cut out that middle area and then used it as a frame brought his ipad or wacom tablet in behind it or it in ecam we can bring in a screen share overlay and we can select your ipad or actually, well, it depends how you've got it set up. Or your iPad could come in as a camera overlay and you drop it in that way. So lots of different ways that we can get it into Ecamm here. And we can trim the edges if you're if you're wanting to do this and you're finding that you're getting the frame and the outline in there of your iPad. There are different ways. You can just crop and trim these edges. Come back to me if you're not sure about those points. Um, but I don't want to... I, I, I know Fred... Uh, um, you're relatively new into Ecamm anyway, aren't you? And I think I don't want to bombard Fred with questions about the using Ecamm will, and things. It's I, I will prepare. I will prepare for the masterclass because I, I I really want to show the behind the scenes with visual presentation too. So yeah. Um, okay. But I yeah I, I love do. this. So in the same way that we would be uh, preparing for. You know, I would do my notes in advance and, and if I'm, I would get slides ready. If I'm doing a webinar, I would I would have those mm. scenes already in advance. So in the same way that we're doing that, we could be getting things like this ready if we wanted to do this. Um, I, I, it, it's such a challenge, isn't it? Doing uh, Zoom meetings, uh, uh, presentations and actually trying to do, uh, people are so fed up with zoom meetings really and it just being dry and dull and i'll turn off the camera and sit here and listen but actually to see something like this i, I think it's fascinating and um really exciting um so other than questions around uh the the viewing the camera and things and the and, and the technical side i'm happy to answer a few questions here from the ecamm side of things as to how you do this but if you've got any questions for fred about this communicating and things um uh, please uh, fire away uh, ask us any questions you've got um <laughs> love it i don't know about you fred as well but uh, i'm terrible at being able to speak and write at the same time i i, I I have to, if I'm writing something out, <laughs> I have to stop and let me write it. I'm not very good at multitasking and, and carrying on a conversation while I'm writing. Uh, is that something you've mastered? Yes, but it's it's not so different that, uh, than in uh, physical meetings because when you have a yeah. flip chart, for example, people people were used to 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 draw or to write on a flip chart, so it was difficult to uh, um, to, to to listen, to speak, yeah. draw at the same time. So for me, it was a practice of uh, uh, sketch noting, live sketch noting. Yeah, uh, it's 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 uh, almost um, close to translation. Uh, trans. Uh, you you must yes uh, absolutely and do 
um, and speak at the same time. And where, where you where you are a sketch noter, you must draw. Yeah, and listen, that's uh, very true. So it's it's not um, it's a skill, and it's mm. it's it's need you need training to to to. To you to use it uh, very uh, with yeah. confidence, but uh, it's possible. And, and with with those of us watching in here, um, fancying a go at this, Miles is going to have a go at this tonight. Is uh, <laughs> going to implement it into his live show. Uh, let us know how you get on, Miles. Uh, really, this is this is the the harder bit, isn't it? This is you know, if we could take our, I mean, just even me messing about here, I can see that it would be much easier for me to prepare this in advance. And have mm. these bits ready so that I, uh, I can get that right. That would be stage one, and I guess I would try and get comfortable with that before I started trying to do this on a live. Um, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's the reason why I showed you prepared drawing for me. It's you are not obliged to to go on live drawing because live drawing it's it's the most difficult thing to to do and it's more for professional yes of course you can improve this, these skills but if you take your time to prepare your uh, uh scenario uh, your script your yeah. storytelling you you draw uh, simple drawings you you will get the attention of people and it will be perfect it's, yeah. um, it's not obliged to draw uh, live yeah yeah, this is, and this is, it's a bit like looking at a musician and saying, oh, I want to be able to do that. And don't actually appreciate that you've spent years in the background being able, you know, practicing at this. And um, <laughs> yeah. so, so this is, this is your art. This is what you do. And, um, but yeah, I love that you're breaking this down. So Fred, you, um, and I, we do have a couple of, I do want to come back to a question there in a minute, but before we do, uh, you're going to be starting a course upon this, aren't you? Yes, I'm. I'm working um, at this moment. I'm working on my uh, uh, training program. I'm listening to people uh, because, uh, as you as you as you saw, that there are different field in uh, graphic facilitation. Mm -hmm. You can uh, teach people how to draw. You can teach people how to uh create uh, visual storytelling you can teach people how to uh draw in physical or remote train uh, remote uh, meeting so there is different fields yeah so at this moment i'm working on uh, um, identify what is the most important uh, what is the most easy to easy to easy to uh to to, to learn for to for teach. training yeah yeah teach and to learn so yeah it's um i'm working on and yeah. uh, so, i I'm, i think the the remote uh training uh, the the remote meetings it's for me perhaps the uh, i identify that in this field there is not a lot of mm. uh offers uh yeah. Yeah. to and be able options. to know nobody else is yeah, yeah. So, so it's the reason why we we, we made this interview because uh, I think uh, th there is a lot of opportunities for yep. people to learn these skills to improve uh, uh, the interactivity in a remote training a remote meeting. Sorry. Yeah, and I I, I agree, and I think I, I'm I'm one of those encouraging Fred actually to do this. I would love to learn more about this. Uh, I have put a link in the description to uh if you want to find out more about fred at, to, at this stage just express your interest get on an email list um i'm on there i'm looking forward to hearing more about this um fred will jump across and um so phil is phil asked on here then and it might be easier if i bring it up onto the chat window i don't know if you want to jump back to your other um scene on there a second so uh, Phil just put on here, so with the Wacom tablet, Fred, can you use any drawing application and screen share uh, overlay via Ecamm, lining up the drawing with the difficult elements? And I think this by the set, this is what Dean was asking. So sorry, Dean, I didn't realize that's, uh, I've had this, Fred, where 
yes, we can do sort of green screen drawing over the top. So if, if now I wanted to start drawing over the top of this and highlight Kerwin's comment, for instance, I, I can't, I could guess at it, but I don't know exactly where it's going to come in. So we can't actually, in the same way that we could mark up a PDF, I guess, um, there isn't a way with the Wacom tablet, you're not seeing that, are you? It's it's different to like an iPad where you could have a PDF in front of you. Your Wacom tablet, it's blank, isn't it? You're just writing on it. Uh, yes, but it's the same uh, software. So it's not... But, uh, but how do you know? So if I think what they're asking is if, say you'd got a, a document in front of you, and you want to land at an exact point with your pen, mm -hmm. does your Wacom, do, do you see like a cursor mark over it or something where you're, where you're about to start drawing when you hover over it? No. So if no. you've got a half made drawing and you want to start writing in a box that you've already made, how can but you accurately land in that? You speak, for example, uh, in, in this example, uh, so if you'd already got a, a, a box on your, uh, uh, if there were a document that was that was already, like when you want to mark up and write over a document, mm -hmm. um, you, I think what's being asked is that as to actually with the Wacom tablet, I feel that you're kind of a bit blind to it. You don't know where the pen's going to come in. And no, 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 it's, Wacom tablet is, uh, no, I can, if I want to bring a PDF on my, uh, on my side and write on a PDF, I, I can do it because every software I can uh, use a stylus. Yeah. I, have, I know exactly where, uh, where I will draw. So uh, I'm not sure to understand exactly, but if I have my scene, yeah, for example, like this, so you, for example, this is an application. Uh, there is a questions, and we it's difficult to understand exactly uh, yeah. what is a what is a point. So I draw something. So for example, I have an overlay with my uh, with my uh, yeah with me, and I uh, this is an an overlay with a PDF document. So so this is what I think um, Dean was asking earlier about what is the view like on your Wacom tablet at the minute. You're you're not seeing it on the tablet, are you? Uh, if I bring if I if I create a, a window with a, a, a software sharing, for example, it's a PDF on a window overlay, yeah. and uh, I, I am on my I, I can, for example, if I if I if I use a Word a PDF every software where i can use a stylus i can draw on this software uh, okay. i can i can do everything with my wacom tablet there okay. is no perhaps the the problem is when you have a green screen and well, i think know... so so kerwin just put there can we annotate a document live on screen um so maybe we were Maybe we'd pulled a video up uh, on YouTube uh, on a screen. Could we, with a pen over the top of it, sort of circle things and draw? So, we, so uh, we, we're looking yeah. at a screen and then we're trying to write over the top of it, I think is what's being asked. Yeah, you use a, you, but, but it's very technical. <laughs> yep. it's, uh, uh, you, you use, for example, a green screen and you 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 made this yeah it's very difficult yeah. to explain but like um, how you can yeah that's fine and i don't want to go um so but it, it could be a good uh, a good uh, thing to to show on the master class for example because it's um if 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 the scene is not prepared it's difficult to, mm. <laughs> to yeah. in two minutes but i think it's uh, really possible to do yeah. it uh, Dean has uh, just it's, confirmed. Well, it's been a long time yeah. since I used a Wacom. Um, it is just a trackpad, isn't it? it? It's that you're using a cursor. No, no, it's, that a... It's, not, it's not a trackpad. A Wacom tablet. 
Yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah. But it no. works what? like one that it's not it's not like my iPad that I can physically see the screen there in front of me. This is, uh, sorry, sorry, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, oh, it is. Yeah. Welcome oh. to Let's. It's one of the best. Uh, it's professional drawing tablets. It's very, very, very powerful. So you can do everything on the Wacom tablets. So it's oh. not a smartphone. <laughs> you know, they used to be, didn't they? Yeah, there is a... a Ten a, years a ago, that's that's what I remember, like a green <laughs> pad yeah. that you wrote on. Oh, wow, fantastic. You're going to show me the original one now. <laughs> Everyone's going to be out going out buying one of these now. <laughs> this is my first work on tablet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I thought you were working on. <laughs> it was 15 years ago. <laughs> No, oh, fantastic. So we've answered the question. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dina says, oh, one of those. Um, I'm, I'm wondering who's on Amazon now looking for one. <laughs> yeah, that, it's, it's, it's a Cintiq uh, 16. Okay. So, uh, so, so that can bring in any kind of screen yeah. or window then underneath it. Exactly. And it was very affordable because Wacom tablets were very uh, expensive <laughs> uh, during a, a lot of years. And since two or three years, they made this uh, small Cintiq uh, uh, 16. Yep. And uh, it's, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I bought a refurbished for, uh, I think, uh, 400 euros. And it's, okay. it's very, very powerful. It's very powerful. It's very small. You can bring it. You, you must, it must be connected to a laptop or a yep. PC or a Mac yeah. to, to work because it's like a, a, an a additional screen. Yes. But it's very powerful. It's very precise. It's very professional. And I like it for my live yep. uh, sessions. Well, we definitely, we'll, we'll definitely go into that then when we get in the academy uh, yeah. because I hadn't appreciated that. And I think, to be honest, until we got on this call, I assumed you were using an iPad. Um, so then seeing that you're using that and then realizing, so so I'm kind of learning as we go here as well. This is really cool. But I, I, I my mind's starting to go with ideas and use cases. And, and we're doing, you know, we do in our YouTube Academy and we're, we're bringing people's YouTube channels up and we want to be able to talk to them about what their, what their home page there looks like, their channel. Uh, to be able to write over screen like that would be really powerful. Um, so yeah, so the document comes in as an overlay and you can annotate documents. Sweet, says Kerwin. <laughs> this is great. Exactly. Um, but the, the, there are some differences between, uh, and I, we, could, we, we could go deeper in the masterclass because there are some things you can do with yeah. iPad, uh, something which are not possible, for example, with PowerPoint, yeah. uh, the annotation tools are not exactly uh, the same. So we can perhaps uh, show the differences because the the how to connect your uh, your tools, what is possible, what is not possible, and yeah. it could be useful, I think. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, we won't go into it um, uh, now. I think that's um, that's fantastic. Well, you've given us some food for thought. Um, I'm loving this, and I'm loving just seeing a, a completely different use, really, for eCam like this, um, mm. allowing us to be able to, or allowing you in this case, you know, to be able to use it. And uh, every time I see something new like this, I just think, yeah, we've we've got to highlight this and spotlight it. So. Um, I was really keen to get you on just to uh, demonstrate it and show it off to us. Uh, I'm just changing this back over on here a bit now. Um, so, uh, Fred, be uh, if if we would bring this um, to a close, and um, I've absolutely loved this and really enjoyed uh, seeing what you're doing on here. What um, any other kind of last minute things that you think you'd like to just share or explain? Anything you think uh, we, we benefit from this? Yeah, 
perhaps something I didn't talk about was uh, yeah. for me. Um, I, I I spoke about um, how um, it can change my uh, way, my flow, my workflow in uh, remote yeah. meeting sessions. I think the most important things I didn't mention was uh, uh, the, for me, for my trainees, uh, the fact was I. I I can maintain uh, uh, the eye contact on every aspect of my training session. For example, I am uh, uh, I am here. Uh, I am uh, uh, using my PowerPoint. I am still uh, yep. in contact uh, with my eyes, with my trainees. Yep. I can draw on my uh, digital software, even if I use. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Wacom. <laughs> Yeah. Even if I use this uh, drawing and papers, I am still with my trainees because I am always on the screen. And I think it's yep. for me um, um, with with this there is no difference in, act in, in interactivity with physical uh, meetings. Um, and the, yeah, uh, for me it's very very important and. And I, uh, yeah, makes it makes a huge difference. Um, yeah, yeah. You just... <laughs> Forgive me, Fred. Um, I, I, I'm learning a lesson <laughs> about playing around with my iPad that was working a display. I, I just completely lost my screen then as you were you were talking then. And uh, I'm going to leave it alone. I think it sits up there as a as a teleprompter. I brought it down here to start writing on it and it's not happy with me. So um, <laughs> yeah now I, I i think it's fantastic and i can totally see how this would make a huge difference to um <laughs> someone's put i can only imagine using this to play pictionary virtually um yeah <laughs> you could have a lot of fun with this and i guess yeah i'm just trying to think you could if you had an audience of people that were all working with their with their ipads connected or, or even could just i guess on a zoom call could hold up a bit of paper there, couldn't they, and do do the interaction and, and, and work yes, along with you? Of course, the, I didn't mention, but there, was, the, there are a lot of uh, other um, possibilities, for example, with a mural, with a Miro, all this uh, uh, interactive uh, software. Okay. Uh, so, so, uh, I didn't, I, I only uh, show the most simple um, steps yeah. but of course you can uh, with this you can for example have a scenes have a scene with mural and you can ask people for uh, uh, fill, fill in uh, virtual post uh, sticky notes so it's it's very um, the thing is there is no limits uh, yeah. in uh, switching between uh, different scenes and uh, um, different level of interactivity. So, for example, uh, perhaps we, I can uh, show in Masterclass uh, uh, how to use Mural or Miro. Yeah. Or, and well, let's, let's have a talk before then. Um, mm -hmm. Paul's already really, really looking forward to the Academy now. Um, <laughs> and I think we could maybe try and work out and we'll bring you on in the second week in the academy so people will we could chat even in the first week and if there is something particular that, that somebody wants to cover we could cover that uh, and, and go into that one but um, that's fantastic and uh, I, I really appreciate you coming on and looking at this I think um, we've set people off to um, let's just bring that quickly look in that chat there we've sent people off I think to go buy in these Wacom tablets um uh, asked about viewing the class with fred um we've already been through the academy live academy um the mic it will be it'll be a live masterclass going on in the academy we did it last time around as well uh so you can you're very welcome to come back through as an alumni and you'll get in at half price through our ecam live academy um but it will be happening there inside uh inside the facebook group uh, as we did previously. But uh, I'm always trying to see, you know, every time we come around an academy, uh, what could we be teaching that's different, that's new? And so very much seeing Fred, I figured, yeah, we've we've got to get him in here and use this. 
Um, be fantastic. We will, of course, there will, and, and yes, as part of the academy, you, you get all the updates on the videos. We are sitting eagerly waiting for uh, Ecamm version four to come into the main program. We're using it here on beta, absolutely loving it. Uh, it does mean that we'll be updating a lot of the videos. <laughs> in fact, pretty much all of the videos inside the Academy when this new update comes out. So we're just sitting waiting to see whether that's happening in time for the Academy or not. Um, but one way or another, there'll be a whole batch of new videos. I think October will be a perfect time for the Academy for you to actually come back through and see how to use the new version, what's updated, what's in there. And as ever, just a, a fresh chance to come back and have a play uh, with us all in the academy uh, we love the way that we do we love the the way that that works with uh, we've looked at taking it online and keeping it as an evergreen course but we really like the cohort based course the live element of it and um, so yeah i would encourage you if you've already been through the academy come back through again and uh, if you haven't then definitely check it out uh, again links in the description to come and join us over in the academy um, so Fred, uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, yes, <laughs> we spotted your glove there as well. Um, really appreciated that. Thank you so much for coming on. And, uh, I know this is, um, uh, not anything you've really done before coming on and doing these interviews like this. And, uh, uh it's me that's pushed Fred saying, come on, I want to get you in front of my Ecamm audience and, uh, let's, Let's get things started. But reach out to Fred. Uh, as I say again, that link's in the description. If you want to sign up, you'll get an email back from Fred. If you want to contact him or you've got questions for him, then I guess that's probably the best way to, to do that as well, Fred, is it? Yes, of course. Yeah, lovely. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Thank you for coming on and uh, sharing all this with us. And uh, thank you all for showing up as well. And hope you've enjoyed that one. It's another new uh, lesson, something new that we can be doing inside Ecamm that hopefully has just whetted all your appetites. And I'd love to see some lives going on. Be sure to tag one of us. If you do go live and you have a play with this, uh, let us know how you're getting on with it. Um, yep, uh, Mike's just saying thank you. Thank you very much, Mike. Kerwin's saying the same. Um, brilliant. Really appreciate that. All the best, guys. Thank you. Bye.